If you can't tell, innovation remains our priority here at Zoom Events, and November is full of enhancements designed to save event hosts time, energy, and effort as they create their events. Let's jump right into this nice long list. First, we have launched an entirely new and revamped onboarding experience for our users. Uh, and that's, this includes a beautiful and engaging hub setup process along with a guided tour and a setup checklist. All are available. The best part is you don't have to be a new user to use these tools. Check them out under the question mark menu up in the top right uh, today. I've already been using this feature for the past couple of days and I love it. Hosts can now preview their registration workflow right from the event builder. This allows them to fully engage and interact and walk through every part of your registration process as if you were an attendee, even testing out promo and access codes. You're going to love it. It's gonna help us all feel more confident with our registration workflows. For single session events, we have simplified and consolidated all of the lobby settings into one single tab. This provides hosts a straightforward one-stop shop place to upload downloadable materials, uh, add a description and set up their logos and other things like that. We'll be adding more to this area in the future. Keeping with the theme of simplification, you now have the option of hiding the additional details in the registration module. This was a common uh, feature request from our Zoom events community. It's a simple change, but provides the opportunity for cleaner and more simplified landing pages. Be sure to check that out. Finally, one more thing we've removed. We have removed the Zoom web settings dialog button. Uh, the meeting and webinar settings section of Zoom events has really achieved quite a bit of parity with the uh, web portal. So now this section reflects your web settings and you can make changes as needed on an event by event basis. Uh, super simple, but brings things, makes things a little bit cleaner. This next feature probably deserves a drum roll. You can now pre-populate speaker info from previous events and reuse speaker profiles that you've already built. It's a simple search bar, but it saves gobs and gobs of time for event hosts. Go right now. Stop what you're doing. Go and try this out. You're going to absolutely love it. I love it. With Zoom events, you can upload video content to be used in events or displayed on your content hub and channels or playlists. And this month, we now support closed captioning and transcription for those uploaded video files. This really enhances the experience for your viewers, um, and they can even search, view, or even translate these captions however they desire. Really powerful feature for our on-demand video content. <laughs> RTMP ingest was just recently released and we are already improving this feature along the way. And introducing now smarter stream management. We have uh, elevated the stream key manager uh, to the hub level. It's right there under resources. We have introduced a new one-time use default stream key. So really quick to just generate a stream key, give it to your uh, streaming device or streaming software and get, uh, get up and running as quickly as possible. And we are also delivering 1080 and 720 feeds now to all of your viewers so it should enhance their viewing experience uh, quite a bit moving now to a couple of production focused enhancements production studio now supports adding your zoom room presenters to scenes if you've ever uh, been running a hybrid ish uh, event this is a great enhancement it lets you build those zoom rooms right into your uh, production studio scenes so they're ready to go when you are ready to go live and also for production studio we have eliminated the gray boxes a lot of you may or may not know what we are talking about, but uh, Production Studio really liked shared content in a 16-9 aspect ratio, and it would fill in content that didn't fit that with gray boxes. You can see that on this slide there up in the top right. Uh, here's an example up a little bit closer. So we have eliminated those. We've made them transparent. So even if you are sharing uh, square content or different aspect ratio content, it's nice and clean, lets your wallpaper shine through, and is a nice, nice enhancement there. All right, with our final release, we may have saved the best for last, but one of the best things since sliced bread that has come out is with the new Zoom client, we have released a shared content view only mode for webinar. Hosts and panelists can now view shared content only and hosts can deliver a clean, simple, shared content only view to their attendees. 
This is a super great way to run webinars. It's found up in the view button or in the participants tab where you can push all of your view options. This just gives hosts plenty of options now with standard side-by-side -side, and shared content only modes to achieve the look they're going for and really focus their audience's attention on their shared content would be great for pre-recorded sessions or any video content. That was a lot. Be sure to jump into events.zoom.us today and check out these features. And as always, be sure to reference our release notes for a more comprehensive list of updates and releases. Thank you for using Zoom events. Thank you.